The farmland behind these doors is home to roaming herds of cows during the year. Except for a few days in June, when it turns into a town of cultural festivities. Glastonbury Festival of Contemporary Performances opens its gates in the southwestern English town of Somerset for the 49th time. It's a major event in the global cultural calendar and a landmark of the counterculture movement. For five days, the festival will host over 200,000 people and will offer a variety of activities in 31 areas spread over the farmland. This year's lineup is as impressive as ever, headlining Stormzy, The Killers, and The Cure, among others. Also this year, Glastonbury is paying extra attention to its ecological footprint. Festivals like Burning Man in the USA and Green Man in Wales have already been accepting only biodegradable and reusable wares. Joining them this year, Glastonbury has banned plastic bottles and urges visitors to leave no tents behind. This is after the festival earned a bad reputation of a sea of discarded tents and litter-strewn fields left behind in the past. Two years ago, visitors to the festival went through 1.3 million plastic bottles. Joining me now is Jumpin' Jack Frost. He is a DJ playing this Sunday in Glastonbury on Clash stage. Hi, thank you so much for joining us today. So tell me about your set that you're going to play on uh, in Glastonbury on Sunday. Is it going to be the classic jungle sound of you? Well, my set on Sunday is going to be um, like a V-recording special along with me, Brian G, Porty and Alibi. We've got a V-recorded takeover, so it's going to be a classic V-set on Sunday at Shangri-La. So it's going to be quite good, quite special. So it's not going to be the first time you play in Glastonbury. So tell me about what kind of an experience it was when you played there before. My, my previous experience at Glastonbury has just been... Um, I played at smaller stages, twice I've been at on smaller stages. This is going to be the biggest, biggest one yet. We're expecting quite a lot of people at our stage. And it's, I've usually played in the daytime, but this is like deep in the night. So it's going to be quite special. I mean, tell me, how is it different than playing at a bar, for example? I imagine Glastonbury as a place which could make you think, yeah, this is why I love my job. But is it? It's, it's completely different because you know, your, your interaction, you're interacting with thousands and thousands of people all at one time. And we know Glastonbury is such a special place that people come out and they, they really go for it. Do you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, Glastonbury is like probably the most famous festival in the world. So it, just, just being able to be part of it is something really special. And, um, yeah, it's, just, it's one of those things that you never forget. I mean, when tickets went on sale this year, 200,000 of them were bought in 36 hours. So I wonder what kind of an audience Glastonbury audience is. Yeah, because um, obviously they had a bit of a break. So I think we, you know, we had a year without Glastonbury. So people were pretty keen to get back out there again and, um, and enjoy the Glastonbury experience. It's, as I said, the most famous festival in the world. So, you know, getting out there to Glastonbury is, 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 is something that people, they want to do, and they will do it all, year in and year out, and love it year in and year out. It's, it's just a very special experience to be able to be part of Glastonbury any year. But uh, this year is going to be quite special. Now, what do you think about the lineup this year? Oh, it's crazy. You know, you've got, you've got um, headliners like Stormzy, you've got the Wu-Tang Clang, you've got people like Liam Gallagher, you've got a whole host of DJs. It's just... The lineup is ridiculous, you know, the killers, you've got myself, you've got Brian G, you've got Fabio and Groove Rider, you've got a whole host of DJs playing at Glastonbury this year. And um, I think there's more DJs this year than probably any other year, so it's going to be quite an event. Let's talk about dance music scene a little. I mean, a lot has changed since you've started. Are you still enjoying the scene? Oh, man. Um, well, me personally, I've been in the business for over 30 years, and um, my label V Recordings, we're enjoying our 25th anniversary, which was last year, that has rolled over into this year. Myself and Brian G, 
We've um, travelled all around the world um, for our 25-year anniversary. And um, we're taking it to Glastonbury this year, to the Shangri-La stage on Sunday. And it's going to be quite a special and quite an emotional event for us because, you know, Glastonbury, it doesn't get any bigger than that. So we'll, 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 we'll go down there, do a great job, but we'll enjoy it as well. And um, it will just be real nice to, to be able to um, enjoy the experience of Glastonbury and our 25-year anniversary um, in conjunction. It'll be really good. And Jack, a lot of people are saying that jungle music is making a comeback. I wonder what you have to say about it as someone who's been present and important for a lot of critical moments in jungle music history. A lot of people saying jungle making a comeback, but jungle didn't never it never went anywhere. It didn't go anywhere. I think in the mainstream, because you know, you know, in the mainstream, people seem to people keep seem to think that it's making a comeback, but the true underground Jungle Ravers knows that know that it didn't go anywhere, but it's just good to see it making a making a, a comeback in terms of recognition on the mainstream. But um, the true junglists know that it's it's always been here and it always will be. But you know, it's just good to see it becoming um, more popular within mainstream dance music culture. It's a really good thing to see. But it never went anywhere and it never will. Jungle will, will never die. Well, have a great time in Glastonbury on Sunday. Jumping Jack Frost, DJ. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.